Google Maps is the king of navigation apps, even on an iPhone. In fact, over 70% of iPhone users use Google Maps over Apple Maps. I feel Apple Maps doesn't get enough credit it deserves. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 outstanding features of Apple Maps that even Google Maps doesn't have. Hi, this is Anjana. Welcome to the Tech Girl channel and let's get started. First, a way better user interface. This is the main UI for the Google Maps, cluttered and a lot is going on here. And this is Apple Map, a clean, minimalistic interface but still offers everything Google Maps has. There is a library for my favorite places just like Google Maps. There is a satellite view with transit and traffic information just like Google Maps. There are place guides just like explore option on Google Maps. And driving directions, it's not even a competition. Look how simple and clear Apple Maps directions are when compared to Google Maps directions, which I honestly don't know which part I should focus on. I honestly feel Apple has done a better job at the UI than Google for sure. Second, Apple Maps has way more details on actual map over Google Maps. Hard to believe? Check this out. This is a freeway here near my home. Look at the level of details on the highway. It has accurate lane markings, dividers, merge signs and a lot more details overall. Look at the Google Maps here shows the road in split way before but when you enable satellite view you can now see the inaccuracy apple maps has got this detail right even in a non-satellite mode with accurate markings look at this roundabout here google maps shows nothing Apple map detail of the road is outstanding. Isn't this wonderful? Another example of a nearby intersection. Again, Google Maps has nothing, no lane marking, no pedestrian signs, but Apple Maps is so detailed. Let's say you're exploring an indoor space like a shopping mall or an airport. Let me show you a shopping mall nearby. From a distance, Google again doesn't even show there is a mall there, but as you zoom in, Google map is a mess. Very cluttered. I don't even see shops inside. I'm not getting the sense of layout at all. Apple Maps shows the mall boundary shop layout but as you even zoom in a very clear layout of all the stores with their names and information well presented map in my opinion google maps shows the name of some stores doesn't display other stores not so great i'll give you another example this is seattle airport at the same distance, Google Maps doesn't even show the airport layout. Apple Maps not only shows me the layout, but it also gives me all the gate information. They are all clearly marked and intuitive. At this distance, Google is only giving me restaurant names. As you zoom in, Google Maps shows more information, but still, Apple Maps is much more easier for me to understand and navigate. It's easy for me to understand where the security checkpoints are, where check-in counters are, etc. Now, look at this. Apple Maps tells me that there are 10 levels in the airport Google says it has three. See how much more clearer Apple Maps is able to give you the information you're looking for? This alone is sufficient for me to keep using Apple Maps. This is Bangalore Airport for another reference. Okay, third, Google can save a place to your library. So can Apple Maps. But what Apple Maps can do better is it lets you add your own notes to any place. I have added this note to a restaurant. Now, anytime I go back and look this place up, I see my personalized note added to it. It has come in very handy. Google Maps does not have this feature. Fourth, we already saw the better details and layout on Apple Maps, but Apple Maps also has a better understanding of buildings and objects than Google Maps. Let me show you. This is a map of downtown Seattle. Both Apple Maps and Google Maps has an option to view called 3D. Let me enable that. This is the Uber building. This is how it actually looks in real. Apple Maps is almost identical in 3D. Google Maps is a mess again. It's not only an inaccurate rectangle, but it has superimposed a lot of information that made the view so cluttered again. This is Vidhan Sauda in Bangalore. Again, shows the details in Apple's 3D representation in comparison to Google Maps. This is Taj Mahal for another comparison. Okay, fifth, this is the 3D view of downtown Seattle. Let me switch to a satellite view on Apple Maps and show you. There, Apple Maps has a 3D view in satellite view as well. You can move around and see the city like you were literally flying over it. Cool, right? Let's try this on the king of navigation apps. Look at the flattened image. That's right, Google does not have a 3D view plus a satellite image. It's either 3D or satellite. Google Maps on web still has a decent 3D satellite view, but nothing like what Apple is providing. This is not just for main downtowns, even suburban buildings have an awesome 3D satellite view where you can fly around and explore the places like flying in Rio. Try it out, it's surprisingly awesome. Sixth, 
We all love the street view on Google Maps, right? Google has mapped every corner of the earth in street view and has an amazing coverage. Apple Map is still catching up, but for the mapped areas, Apple's version of street view called Look Around is of much better quality and detail. Look at the street view of Seattle on Apple Maps and Google Maps. Google Maps looks like it's taken on a camera from the 2000s, but Apple Maps has much more clarity, detail and information. It even overlaps the street address on the maps. I tried many cities, streets, suburban areas and found that Apple Maps has an overall better look around than Google. But Google has a better coverage for sure. 7th are you a hiker or go on treks often? Apple Maps is at some other level with the hiking trails and features for hikers. First, the trails on Apple Maps has far more information than Google Maps. I simply tap on a trail. The Apple Maps gives the highlight of the trail, trail length, elevation, etc. It has trailhead information and when you start a hike from the trailhead, it shows how exactly the hike is going to go. It's simply awesome. But wait, what if the trail is not recorded by Apple and you want to take a custom trail? No problem, you can create a custom hike for yourself. You can tap on a desired area and tap on create a custom route. Now you can add custom waypoints anywhere on the map and complete the loop. Apple Maps will also show you the distance, elevation, time taken, hike type, everything. You can even save it for future hikes. Google Maps? Nothing. The custom hike is an iOS 18 feature, so update if you're not using it. Okay, eighth quick tip, you can now do this custom waypoints and custom routes for walking directions as well. Save and download it for future references. Ninth, privacy. This is something Google cannot even have a comparison. I'll tell you exactly how. First, data minimization. Apple collects way less data about you, your location, your trips for targeted advertising. Google will use your location for targeted ads, collect location data, history, recently visited to sell you ads. Second, data anonymization. Apple will remove all the personal information from the map usage so that it won't know and be able to track anything about you. Google, on the other hand, and wants to know everything about you. Third, on-device processing. Google, when you search for something or plan a trip, it will send everything to Google servers and process them there, which means Google has all the information about you and your trips. Apple Maps, on the other hand, does a lot of these processing on-device, which means very little information is sent to Apple servers, and even they are masked of private information. Fourth, Maps data from Apple Maps usage is not used for targeted ads. Fifth, the information Apple needs to send to its servers are all end-to-end -end encrypted. So Apple has no way of knowing anything even if it wants to. Google is just taking steps to keep your location history on the device. Google needs a lot of that information for targeted ads. Overall, Apple Maps is way more superior when it comes to privacy and security. Finally, number 10, Apple Maps has something called guides. These are curated guides of a city and things to do closer to the place you are exploring. Check this out. If I'm planning a trip to New York, Apple Maps gives me curated guides of places to visit when I go to New York. It can be places to eat suggestion, shows to see in New York, things to do and a whole lot more categorized neatly. Google Maps has an explore option but it's not a curated guide. When I tap on Apple Maps guide, it overlaps all the places neatly onto the map for me. Here's another guide of the best restaurants in Mumbai as per the infatuation blog. Okay, those were the 10 unique features in Apple Maps which Google Maps should have taken inspiration from. I'll say it again, Google Maps is still the king of navigation and has every single feature you would expect from a navigation app. Also, the coverage of roads and places, street view, business information, all are unparalleled still. Apple still has a long way to go, but I feel Apple Maps has its own place in terms of some unique features like these. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope it was useful. If so, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.